on y'all it's dg back with another video and today is a very exciting day because the air jordan 39 has just unveiled to the public for the first time in this video i'll be going all of the essential key information and facts that you need to know including the performance features so let's get right into it. this photo on your screen is a picture of paulo branchero wearing this at an orlando magic practice in preparation for the nba playoffs he will be debuting this model today on court during game one in his series. The first thing that you need to know about this shoe is that I was told that it comes in one height this time. Now, I didn't specifically ask about the low top version, but one height tells me that it won't come in a low because this essentially looks like a low anyway. I was told it's kind of designed to be a low to mid top type of design. So I'm not sure if we can expect low tops. I'm not sure if we can expect a low top model for this time around, although it's still really early. They could be planning that down the line as well. So that is the first thing that you need to know. It is coming in one height this time and aesthetically they do look like a low top to me. The upper consists of an embroidered textile. The pattern features a computational design inspired off of footwear testing and you know player testings in one of their research labs. One of the main inspirations behind this shoe is MJ's signature move. One of MJ's signature moves is a cross step. So that was one of their main motivations behind the testing and the design of this shoe is really, you know, trying to support that cross step move. When interviewing Jordan brand athletes, the designers really tried to take into account you know, the movement of a player, right? This is it's supposed to be a shoe that's supposed to aid in cuts, in running, in jumping. Like that is the entire idea behind the shoe. It's supposed to aid in movement. So the upper material is supposed to help you in terms of bending, in terms of crossing over, in terms of going lateral, sideways, vertical, right? So that's the entire design behind the upper and kind of the storytelling there. In terms of the performance behind this product and the idea behind that, Basically, they're really trying to cater to low to the ground types of players who really like to move a lot on the court. In terms of the performance aspect and the storytelling behind that, they really designed the 39 to be low and connected to the floor so that the player can make those movements without any delay. The tech is absolutely insane in the 39, guys. The cushion is full length Zoom X foam on top of full length Zoom Air. That's crazy. Those are my two favorite cushion setups of all time. It's actually insane to think about those two cushions being on just one basketball shoe. Like the, the Zoom X is super comfortable, also very bouncy in the GT Cut 3, honestly. Obviously, we all know about Zoom Air. That is probably my favorite cushion setup of all time as well. So once you combine those two, it's it might be game over for the cushion game i'm just i'm just saying this it might be the craziest cushion setup of all time and aesthetically i really like these so if everything works out this might be the best performance air jordan or at least one of the most comfortable at least one of the most comfortable because that cushion setup is absolutely insane we're used to seeing a lot of tech in the air jordan line it's literally michael jordan he is the flagship athlete for Jordan. He literally has his own brand. So of course they're going to put as much technology into the shoe as possible into his shoes. But for Zoom X and full length Zoom Air, both of them, again, full length, that's crazy because those are my favorite two cushion setups. And I feel like everyone loves Zoom X. Everyone loves Zoom Air. It's just a matter of how they're going to implement this for the low to the ground play that they're trying to go for, right? So I'm really curious to see how these perform on court, but on paper, it's actually insane. It is so exciting that both of these cushion setups are paired together and I just can't wait to play in this shoe. So let's go over some colorways really quickly. I do have a list of future colorways that are supposed to release, but I believe this is called the Soul colorway and it will release it will be the first flagship colorway to release for the 39 and it's supposed to release on july 23rd so it's actually coming up pretty dang soon let me know what you guys think of these i think these are super clean i will be trying to get these for the collection as well and i do like these on feet it has a little bit of black but it is just a majority white colorway which i like i like monochromatic colorways as well then we have this colorway right here it's supposed to be a unc university colorway i think it's a little bit hard for me to match the list that I have with the images, 
But this is supposed to be an upcoming colorway as well. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys think. This is also supposed to be a future colorway releasing. I'm not too big of a fan of this one. I do like the all white colorway a lot more. We do have a Guo PE that's supposed to release as well. Probably an overseas exclusive. He does get PEs. I think starting with the 34, he got a P or even the 33 actually. Um, he's been a Jordan brand athlete for a very long time. And I always like his PEs. They just never release stateside but he usually has like this jade type of theme to his PEs. So let me know what you guys think of these. So let me know what you guys think of the Air Jordan 39. I do not know the retail price for this shoe just yet, but if I had to guess, it would be around $200. I do like the 39 aesthetically. I think it looks super clean, very seamless as well. I feel like they cut a lot of things from the 38, I, I guess performance wise in terms of the actual looks and aesthetics and builds. And the Zoom X foam coupled with the full length Zoom Air is really crazy to me because like those are very comfortable rides and I'm curious to see how they actually implement it. So I cannot wait for the performance, right? Because those are two heavy hitter foams. Those are like crazy cushion setups. And once you combine them both together, I'm really curious to see how they play on court, considering the storytelling is all about movement. It's about change of direction. It's about, right, like being low to the ground. That's really what they wanted this shoe to perform as. So combining those two cushion setups is really crazy. And I'm really curious to see how they fine tune that to be able to, you know, perform at, you know, this level, right? Because too much cushion is usually a bad thing, but if they do it correctly, this could be one of the most comfortable shoes of, of basketball shoes of 2024 and into 2025. So I guess the Jordan 38 is finished as well. Like, I feel like we didn't see a lot of colorways of the 38. Maybe that's just me. We saw a few 38 low colorways, but not too many. We saw some, you know, a lot of 38 high colorways, the normal version, but not too many as well. A lot of them went on sale. So I think they're really trying to, you know, hit it out the park with the 39. And I think aesthetically, a lot of people are going to like these as well. They are very clean. And that cushion setup, the traction looks good. Hopefully the fit is good because one thing I did not like about the 38 was that they had, you know, plastic pieces on the side for support, but as a wide footer, it just dug into my foot a little bit. Um, it was a pretty uncomfortable feeling. So I had to break, you know, my 38s in, but after that, I really love the 38. I think it's so comfortable, looks amazing, came in great colorways. And I can't wait for the 39 guys. 39 looks really good to me and it just looks more streamlined. It looks a little bit more seamless. I said the same exact thing for the Luca 3 as well in terms of the upper build. So very excited for what Jordan brand has in the pipeline. So if they're able to deliver on these colorways, to be quite honest, this on the screen is my favorite colorway right now. And I do like, you know, all of the other colorways that I've shown, but this is probably my favorite one. I also have a black colorway of 39 as well. I do like all black colors. I just wish that the outsole was solid and more black, but this is an upcoming colorway as well. I think aesthetically, these look very good in my opinion. I just need better colorways. I need more colorways down the pipeline and more colors, like more colors, more exciting colors. I'm a sucker for those. So I'm excited to see what's in the pipeline and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And if you guys enjoyed this video, if you enjoy my content, please like, comment, and subscribe because that is the number one way that you can support me and I really appreciate it. Follow me on all socials at DJ Hoops. Have a blessed day and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.